Today we talk about low TPI tires. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Vela Harmony. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about low TPI tires. It is winter and we're gonna be doing a lot of training. It's gonna be raining. And when it rains, you know, you pick up glass and other things on your tires. So a lot of people have wheels that are heavier wheels and they put heavier tires on it and so forth. The reason I decided to make this video was I tried these tires. They're called uh, Roubaix. They're made by Specialized Roubaix Amadillo Gripton Elite. They're coming off the wheel. I did one ride in them today and they're like blocks of rocks on your wheel. No road feel. Yeah, you're not going to have a flat. They're tough. And I ran the same pressures I run. I ran 90 in the front, 95 in the back. There is no suppleness whatsoever. I think it might be 120 TPI or whatever, but there are other 120 TPI tires that ride better than this. Yeah, if you live in the city where you have a lot of glass and other debris on the road and you're having a lot of flats, that's, that's what you want to go with. But I tell you what, it takes the fun out of riding. They're coming off my wheel. These, on the other hand, are made by Continental, and they're called Ultra Sport. Very inexpensive, low TPI, probably 120. You can feel the road. They'll ride a lot better. So if you're looking for tires that will be tough, don't cost too much for just training, uh, if you can even use these on the trainer. I've used these on the trainer for a long time. They don't wear on the trainer. The trainer will not wear them. These, these are good tires. These are, everybody knows about these. These are the Continental Gator Skin tires. They're pretty good. Yeah, I would take the Ultra Sport first, the Gator Skin second. These guys, the Armadillo, unless I lived in an area where I was just having flats all the time, I would not even bother with because they just took the fun out of the riding. And so these are the three I'm comparing. I'm sure there are other tires out there, but there are a lot of choices out there. You want a tire that will make riding fun. These armadillos don't do that. Now, I'm sure they got people that use them and they swear by them and whatever, but I'm kind of spoiled. I like road feel. I like feedback. These things felt like I was riding on blocks of rock or metal. You know, like there was just nothing. There was no feel coming from the road. And I just did not care for them. So yeah, one ride, that's it. They're off. They're going to go back, <laughs> you know. So they didn't make the cut. But I wanted to make this video to just let you know that don't ride your 330 TPI tires, 280 TPI tires on crappy roads in the winter for training. Save them for your events. That's why I made this video. Look for the 120 TPI tires and so forth. So. You know, Continental makes a bunch of them. Um, Schwalbe have the Enduro tires. I don't have any here to show you. And then uh, Vittoria makes the Rubino Pro. That's another choice there. Those tires give you feedback. These are like the worst I've used. So needless to say, they're not going to be on my rims or wheels anymore. So... Just make sure that you gear up for the winter properly so that you don't have a lot of problems. I don't like having flat when it's cold or wet. So I use stronger stuff. So you need a set of wheels that have your heavier tires that you will use for just your training rides. And then you have another set of wheels that will have your lighter tires for your events and your fast group rides, okay? To that effect, let nothing stop you from getting it paid. 